Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn OPAM clipper. So there are two types of OPAM clipper, positive clipper and negative clipper. So we have studied clipper in earlier subjects, but these are active clippers. So we are going to see circuits with OPAM producing clipper output. Okay, so let's start with concept first. We all know what is clipper. It is a wave shaping circuit. Okay, so it is going to shape your output waveform. It is going to remove certain part of your input signal to obtain desired wave shape. Okay. So this desired wave shape will be useful in many applications like digital computers, communications uh, such as TV, FM receivers. So there you need certain type of waveform. Okay, so clipper helps you to remove certain portion so that you will get your desired wave shape. Okay, then clipping level is determined by reference voltage, V reference. Okay, so there is a V reference, a voltage that will decide clipping level. Let's see the positive clipper first. Okay, so this is the simple circuit diagram. Here you will see one op amp. So this op amp is going to act as voltage follower. Okay, so you will be seeing this unity gain feedback over here. One diode is connected. And at non-inverting terminal, you are providing input. Okay, so this input is going to vary and you are going to clip this input with the help of V reference. Now, how this V reference is generated? Okay, so first of all, this is your load resistor R. So you are going to collect V reference at this point, which is going to provide V reference to output. And through this node, you are going to feed it back to inverting terminal of op-amp. Okay, this is one path. And then you have connected one potentiometer between VCC and ground. Okay, and you are going to take that voltage as a V reference. Okay, so as you will vary your potentiometer, your V reference will be changed. Okay, now let's study the working. Okay, so your input is a suppose sine wave. So we are going to take sine wave as a input. So it is oscillating between 2 volt and minus 2 volt. Okay, so this is your input. Okay, let's take V reference as 1 volt. For example, we will take 1 volt as V reference. Okay, so I will draw V reference over here. This is my V reference, 1 volt. Now let's first try to understand the scenario when V in is less than V reference. So in this part, if you see, in this part, your V in is less than V reference. So let me just write zero over here. So this V reference is coming over here, okay, at this point, and this point is having V in, which is currently less than V reference, okay. So currently this op amp is not in closed loop. This diode has not yet started conducting, okay. So op amp is still operating in open loop, means your output is going to saturate. So if V1 is less than v2 because your v1 is nothing but v in right so v1 is less than v2 means you are going to get minus v set over here negative saturation at output so, now look at this diode so at end terminal of this diode you are getting sufficiently negative voltage so at p terminal it is getting some positive voltage and at end terminal it is getting sufficiently negative voltage to make it forward biased okay so this diode is going to be short circuit. So now the diode is on. Now the loop is closed. Okay, now the feedback loop is closed. Now op amp will start operating as a voltage follower. Now whatever there is in input, it will come at output. Okay, your output will follow input completely. Okay, so here your output is following input and here your output is following input. Okay, so your output waveform is like this. Okay. Now we understood what happens when V in is less than V reference. Now suppose your V in is reached V reference. Now it has become 1 volt. Now V in is equal to V reference. Now there is not sufficiently negative voltage at end terminal of diode. Okay, so this diode is going to be reverse biased and it is going to act as open circuit. So if this diode is open, this whole loop is broken. So the op amp is going to be in open loop configuration again. Okay. So now if you see, if this loop is broken, then output has only one path that is V reference. 
okay so whatever there is at this node it will come at output so in waveform when at this point your v in crosses v reference okay when it becomes equal and then it becomes greater than v reference this diode is open circuit and loop is broken so, so now your op amp is disconnected from output and it has only one path that is v reference so your output will be like this constant at 1 volt okay now at negative half cycle what will happen in negative half cycle now in negative half cycle your input voltage is always less than v reference because it is negative right it is always below v reference again there is sufficiently negative voltage at n terminal of diode and positive voltage at p terminal of diode so this diode is going to be short circuit and loop is going to be closed okay now again output will follow input so whatever there is at input it will come at output so your waveform will look like this okay so this part is clipped okay whatever there was above reference voltage it was clipped by the circuit okay so this is the same waveform this is your input voltage and this is output voltage okay i just pasted it to make it more clear okay so your output waveform will look like this when d1 is off it is constant and when d1 is on it is following input voltage okay now there are two points to note over here now diode is becoming short circuit open circuit short circuit open circuit okay and that is leading to lot of switching from open loop to closed loop and closed loop to open loop okay so that's why you need high speed op amp in such types of circuit because your op amp should be quick enough your op amp should be fast enough so high speed op amps like ha2500 ln310 a318 so these are some examples of high speed op amps now the second point over here is what if i reverse the polarity of reference voltage now what if i make it minus 1 okay if your reference voltage is negative whatever there is above that reference voltage it will be clipped so your output will be only like this okay because for this much part the output is constant because this diode is open okay so it is following this v reference that is minus 1 volt over here okay so your waveform will look like this okay so to summarize it's working in positive half cycle until v in is equal to v reference d1 is on so vo is following input voltage and when v in crosses v reference voltage d1 is off so vo is v reference that is constant voltage okay and in negative half cycle your v in is always less than v reference so your output is always following your input okay now let's see negative clipper now you will understand this in 2 minutes okay because you have already understood positive clipper very well now there are only two changes you we have reversed the direction of diode okay and we have reversed the polarity of reference voltage now we have connected it to minus v e okay so basic working is same <coughs> suppose you have minus 1 volt as a reference voltage so here is minus 1 volt at vo node okay and until your v in is sufficiently positive now note this difference your v in should be sufficiently positive than minus v reference then this diode will be forward biased okay then this loop will be closed and then whatever there is at input it will come at output and once it crosses v reference once it goes below v reference this point will become negative okay n terminal of diode will become negative it will make it reverse biased so this whole loop will be broken again and your op amp will go in saturation mode okay so your output will be this v reference that is constant voltage minus 1 volt okay let's see waveform so you will get it quickly so in negative clippers your negative part is going to cut off okay so here your reference voltage is minus 1 volt now when v in is greater than minus v reference means to this part your diode is conducting your d1 is on okay so your output is following input so whatever there is at input it came at output side now v in crossed v reference and it went below v reference now diode is off so it became constant over here okay and after this point when v in went above v reference then again it started following 
vein okay so that's how your this much part is clipped okay so to summarize working of negative clipper during positive half cycle when v in is greater than v reference your output will follow input in negative half cycle when v in crosses v reference diode becomes off and then you get constant voltage at output okay so i hope you have understood working of both the circuits if you have liked this video press the like button share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you